Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management. In this supplemental lecture, we're going to be talking about process throughput, trying to figure out what controls the rate of units going through a particular process. So we're going to be taking a look at the arrival rate of the units as well as the process rate itself. When we remember what we've talked about with regard to average throughput rate, we know that it is the average number of units that flow through a process in a specified period of time. So for example, it could be 10 units per hour, 50 units per day, 12 units per minute, 100 per week, 100 per hour, 3 per second, and so forth. So we are looking at units per period of time. So what affects the throughput? As I said earlier, it is the arrival rate, which is how many units that arrive to enter the process. And it's also affected by the process rate, which is how many units can be processed. So again, we're looking at units per period of time. Now, there's three different situations. One is the arrival rate can exceed the process rate. In this case, there are more units arriving than the process can handle. The second situation is that the arrival rate is less than the process rate, which means the process is capable of handling more units than are arriving. And the third situation is when the arrival rate equals the process rate. We're going to look at each of these situations independently. In the first one, where the arrival rate exceeds that of the process rate, if you look at this diagram here, you can see that units are building up in inventory. Because the units are arriving, but the process is not ready to accept these new flow units. So it's going to build up. So in this case, the output of the process, the throughput rate, is going to be limited to the capability of the process itself. This process is going to be used all the time. This is 100% utilized, which means if you have an arrival rate exceeding your process rate, there is no downtime for that process. It's being used at 100% capacity. And this high arrival rate is going to increase your work in process inventory because more units are going to be arriving, waiting for the process to handle it, and the process is just slow. It cannot handle all of those units. So when we're thinking about increasing our throughput rate for a process, we always have to consider how quickly the process can handle these new units. The second situation is the arrival rate is less than the process rate. And here you see that we have almost no buildup in inventory. In fact, there's none here. And on average, the process is waiting for the arrival of units. Now, we can get some small inventory buildup because there is variability in the arrival of units. Remember, when we talk about our little law and so forth, we always talk about averages, but there is always variability in when units arrive and also variability in the processing of the units. So in this case, when the arrival rate is less than the process rate, then our throughput rate is going to be controlled by the arrival rate of the units. So this means that the output of the process is limited to the arrival rate, and our utilization of the process itself is going to be less than 100%, because there will be periods of time where the process is waiting for units to arrive and our work in process inventory is going to be low or non-existent because the process is faster than the units can arrive. The third situation where the arrival rate equals the process rate, well, here it's similar to that of the previous situation where the arrival rate is less than the process rate. But although the arrival rate and the process rate are the same, there is some variability in the units coming. So we can have some small inventory buildup, and there can be times when the process is waiting. So the arrival rate equals the process rate, which generally equals the throughput rate. So the output is limited to the capability of the process itself, 
And here our capacity utilization is going to be just about 100%, which means that process is working almost all the time. And we may get some work in process inventory increasing over time due to variability of the arrival and of the process rates themselves. So when we're thinking about throughput of a process, remember you have to consider the arrival rate and the process rate itself. If the arrival rate exceeds that of the process, then the process is controlling the overall throughput. If the arrival rate is less than the process, then it's the arrival rate that is controlling the throughput rate. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.